So today I'm here at Stonebridge City Farm in the heart of Nottingham and this is Peter Armitage who Hello. is um, the manager. Um, Peter, for those people who have never been to a city farm or don't know about city farms, can you tell us a little bit about them, what they do, why they're important? Mm, very much and, and although you can't see it from our surroundings right now, we are literally in the middle of the city in the St Anne's area of Nottingham which is a, a built-up residential area with factories and workshops all around us. Um, so we are three and a half acres of countryside. We call ourselves a small slice of the country in the heart of the city because that's exactly what we are. And we're an opportunity for our local community and the people around us to come and some will just want to come and enjoy the space and the gardens and the opportunity to have a little playground and a chance for our children to run around or to see the animals, maybe pick the lettuce. It's just a chance for a change of scene. It means that kids don't have to watch TV all day. And we hear a lot now in the media about people being disconnected from food production and particularly people I suppose who live in cities and that's now something like three quarters of our population. Do you notice changes um, as people visit the farm in perhaps their understanding of, of food production or countryside? Or I, I, I guess I don't really know the detail of each of our visitors eating habits but what I do know is that if we have a crop of fresh berries they will fly out. We have people ringing us every day saying, have you got your honey in? Have you got your honey in? And are the bees are they there? Are they producing the honey? So there's plenty of people that like to know about the fresh produce. Um, and people can come to places like this. And actually they can participate in, in supporting actually what we're doing and growing things. Um, and then they can come and pull it out of the ground. And take that. You, know, you don't get much fresher than coming and taking your lettuce out of the ground and taking it home. And plenty of people do. Fantastic. And as well as the kind of um, food production and having a little bit of the countryside in the city and kind of agriculture in the city, I've heard um, that one of the other benefits very much of city farming is the therapeutic value of them and the sense of community, which I think you, you already touched on. Um, can you perhaps describe to me what your yeah. sense of that on, on the farm? I think that there's, there's two aspects to it, you know, it, it's, it's, we are here, we have neighbours and because we're a farm we sometimes have some smells and <laughs> some noises and therefore we need to be respectful of the fact that we have residential neighbours all around us and, and, and that's critical. Um, so, but, it, but, but it's not from a negative of not wanting to upset people, but we want people to be involved because actually that was, that's our legacy. This Stonebridge City Farm originated as a residence project. This piece of land was originally designated to have a school built on it 40 years ago and the council decided against that. So the residents asked if we could use, they could use the land. And we want to respect that and make this a place that's accessible, inclusive to all, and particularly to those people who are around us. So a sense of community is really important. That's fantastic. And you certainly get that feeling walking around um, and speaking to your, your volunteers. And I know we were talking earlier about how many volunteers you have here. And I was staggered, really, at just how many people that, that work with you. Was it something like 70 that we, you have? We, in a year, will have probably close to 150 different volunteers. Some We have volunteers here who are with us long term and are for whatever reason able to commit on that sort of basis. Then we'll have volunteers who come um, for a small amount of time. Uh, but then we have people coming from corporate life who just come as part of a team challenge and actually we have hundreds more of them who come <laughs> and they're very gratefully received when they do come I can yeah. tell you because we rely on their support. Um, but we also, our, our role as an opportunity to, to support education about the countryside is important too. Um, we had over 750 school children visit us as part of structured school visits in 2016 and that number will grow again in 2017. Um, and that's an opportunity for school children who from the city of Nottingham may never have seen a farm or appreciate what a farm's like to come and see and do some learning associated with the countryside. 
Yeah, and I suppose for general public as well, um, I was staggered also at your visitor numbers, uh, um, thousands of, of people, sorry, how, how we, many was We it? estimate we have around 40,000 visitors a year now, but, but those aren't necessarily unique visitors, they're, they're, they'll be people Total who come footfall. In. We'll have yeah. people who are here every weekend when the weather's Yes, fine. yeah, um, lovely. We have regulars to come into the cafe and, and have a, a cup of coffee and a piece of cake over an afternoon, and it, it, because it is a chance for them to have an opportunity to relax and enjoy the space. And yes. We want them to come in yeah, as, as often yeah, as possible. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's again that's 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 part of a sense of community is that, that they can feel this is this is for them. Yes, yeah. Uh, it's such a beautiful green oasis and it's been I've really enjoyed my visit this afternoon. It's been really lovely to talk with you. You're Thank very you. Welcome.